was the early 1970s and I was 17 years old. I had been ill and taken a few different medications I shouldn't have mixed. And I went to a party uh, over some people's house that I did not know very well. And I partied. And as a result, at some point during that evening, I lost consciousness. I can't honestly say I died. I don't know if I died. All I know is what happened next. At one point, I was just partying and having a good time. And at the next point, I was moving down a large black tunnel. It sounds like a cliche, but that's exactly what it was. It was this sort of big tunnel and there was a rumbling noise like deep, deep earthquakes or trains going by. I guess I should have been scared, but I don't think I was. I was aware that I had a presence, a, a, uh, a presence, but not a body. But it wasn't like I said, oh, well, I don't have a body. I just was where I was at and I could see around myself. And as I got to the end of this tunnel, I came into a world or a place where flowers were huge and the grass and the colors were so vividly beautiful and vibrant and everything was alive. The, the grass, the flowers, and I realized they're alive in this life, but that's not what I'm talking about. They were alive in a way that they were communicating and part of me and I was part of them. And I was somehow moving over this scenario when I was taken into a place, and I don't remember by whom, uh, but I was taken, guided into this area where a bright light in the distance began to get closer and closer. And as the light got closer and closer, it, it just encompassed me in a full way that's not really possible to explain here. It wrapped me in a feeling of total peace and comfort that I had never known before and have never known since. And as this happened, I rapidly began to ask questions. Now, when I say ask questions, this isn't in the way we communicate in this world. It was as if the second I began to think the question, the answer was given to me in a multitude of ways. I would know it from its history, for its reasons it was happening. For instance, I said at one point, what is the meaning of life? And this being, who I personally believe was God, or at least a representative of God, if not God himself, communicated to me, not the word love, but the understanding of love, an understanding of love that I really couldn't have had before because I just thought, well, love, you know, you love your mother, you love your, your dog, you know, uh, peace, love, you know, all that. But it wasn't that. It was a love that was total and all-encompassing. At another point, I asked about creation on other planets or other universes, other, other, other galaxies. Was this possible? And the second I thought this, I was transported. I can only think light years, uh, but I didn't really know what time or space was. It wasn't like it is here. And I was transported to other areas where I saw people living. Some of them seemed to have like Roman garb on. And I can't remember some of the others, to be honest. Uh, I then was taken to an area where it was shown to me the creation of the world. And this was shown in a way as if a giant tablet appeared in space. And all the history of the world unfolded in me rapidly. Yet I understood everything, and I was part of all things that had happened somehow. I was connected to this, and I could understand it. I could understand so many things so rapidly and completely that there is no way to explain this to anybody. And at some point, I, I realized I would have to go back. And I pleaded not to return, and I was told well, you must return. And these beings around me of light indicated you, you have to return. There's very important reasons. I don't recall what they said. I don't know what the reasons were. But the next thing that happened uh, was very powerful to me and has always stayed with me, as has the whole experience. Uh, although this sounds egotistical, I, I don't know how to say it other than what happened. 
millions or, or at least thousands of these light beings surrounded me and began to sing. Uh, and when I say sing, they were making music of a beauty that was improvisational and full and complete like you've never, like I've never heard in this world. And they were basically praising me and sending me back to do God's work. And at that point, I, the next memory I have, I woke up in a bathroom in this apartment I was at. Now this might sound very, uh, very desperate, but it wasn't that sort of thing. I simply said to myself, I have to return. I want to return right now. I found a razor blade, and as I did, a voice very clear and, and distinct said, no. And at the second that voice happened, somebody said, I think he's in here, and the door opened, and I dropped the razor blade, and I went on with my life at that point. I went to my wife. Uh, she wasn't my wife. She was my girlfriend. She later became my wife. I was 17 at the time, and explained all of this. But I had no reference, nothing in life to compare it to. Remember, this was the early 70s, and so I really didn't have a perspective which I could place it in. Well, several years later, we had been married and had a baby, and I was in Denver, Colorado in the United States Air Force when I was watching TV during the day with my wife, and a uh, person came on a show who was Dr. Melvin Morse, and I want to say it was like the Michael Douglas show, one of these daytime shows, and he began to talk about a book he wrote, Life After Life. And as he talked about it, I jumped up and I yelled, that's what happened to me. Finally, there was somebody who documented what had happened to me, and I realized it had happened to other people. Well, now in this year, uh, it, there, there are obviously hundreds of thousands of these documented cases of which I am just one. But that experience was a pivotal experience in my life, and it really took me many years to incorporate it into my life fully, and, and I, in many ways I don't think I have. I'd like to say I went on to become a fantastic person and, 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 and a great spirit in this world, but I really don't believe that's the case at all. I, I have so much work to do in that arena, I think. But it happened, and I think it probably happens to everybody. Uh, it either happens sooner or later. In my case, it was sooner for whatever reasons. Uh, how real was it? It was so real that nothing in this life, it, it's as if that was in a magnificent color movie and everything I'm looking at is in black and white now. It's that vivid. It was really the most powerful, explosive, and life-altering experience of my life. And I'm very grateful that it happened to me because I don't know if I would have been strong enough to just have faith in another life and faith in God the way I ended up having this faith because I feel it was a gift given to me.